The way that I routed my wiring was to use a uh, half half inch piece of flexible conduit, I think from Ace Hardware or Home Depot. Um, on the outside of that, I've got the uh, DeWalt router cable, uh, simply just wire tied to it because it can come on and off as needed. Um, I've got another run of uh, cable that's got a 12 volt always on connection on it for the fan on the laser module and then a wire for the laser module control as well as the z-axis motor control all running through that snake and down to a custom clamp that I made to connect to the outside of the stepper and route the wire down to the table. Uh, moving on to the way the wires are routed from the top of the stepper motors down to the table uh, I basically created this custom clamp, which I should probably share at some point. Uh, have not at at this point shared it, but um, it allows you to just kind of wrap that around a NEMA 17 stepper motor. And there's a kind of a simple lug there, a sleeve that goes around this piece and just uh, hangs onto the wire so that it's nice and and tidy. which then allows me to route it downward into the uh, cable chain and off to the table. Uh, shifting gears a little bit here to the uh, power center of the machine. Uh, I've got a heavy duty power strip here, something from Home Depot, I believe. Uh, and that allows me to plug in my router speed control as well as two laptop power supplies. Uh, one of these is basically being used for the stepper motors while the other is being used for uh, the laser driver and laser module. Moving on to the control center, there's a 3D printed box. I think I found it on Thingiverse. Uh, uh, this basically houses my Arduino, my ramps board, the laser driver, and the, uh, the simple display for the LCD. Um, basically all, all roads and all wires lead to this box and uh, are tucked away on the inside. It's a little messy on the inside because I left myself some slack, but for the most part, um, everything's kind of tidied up at this point. Uh, I've got one spare four wire lead that runs out to the Z axis in case I ever add anything beyond the laser driver and just need to extend that out. Um, that's pretty much it for, for the controls and the routing to the uh, LCD display in the controller. And just a bit of uh, final housekeeping here. All of the wiring for the X and Y axis runs through the X and the Y axis uh, just using the conduit and in order to protect the wires that are passing through from motor to motor I used a bit of a heat shrink tubing um, doubled up I believe uh, just to kind of protect the wire from rubbing against the edge of the conduit and potentially shorting out down the road. All right, just for the fun of it, let's, uh, let's run part of a program and have it walk around the table a little bit and uh, exercise the cable carriers and the flexible conduit and everything so you can just see how it all works. Cool, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for checking it out.